Howdy, everybody. Um, I felt like I, I am compelled uh, to make a video response to my own video. Um, and, and it's going to be rightly entitled Racism in the Big Picture. Um, I want you to stop for a moment, everybody, whether you're racist or discriminatory against any group. And I want you just to stop for a moment uh, and listen to what I say and, and think about it. Uh, this, this is your wake-up call. Um, you're not going to get it from those who need to be given it. You're going to get it from me instead. Okay. Racism is just a form of discrimination. Okay. Um, discrimination is, is something that has been silently supported um, by our own United States government for many, many years. Um, now, a lot of people are going to say this is conspiracy theory and all this. Now, let me just throw something out at you. Um, what is there, approximately 300 million people in the United States? Uh, just approximately, rough, rough ballpark guess. And, um, okay, that's an awful lot of people. If those people wanted things to be a certain way, um, you would have one hell of a force to reckon with if you didn't want things that way. Our government, again, has silently supported discrimination and or racism um, ever since the beginning of our government. Um, the reason why this is a tool for them is so that you and I don't unite. Okay, I've, I've got people calling me lover. I've got people, you know. Well, first of all, let me explain this to you. And uh, this was a lesson that my father had taught us kids. Not that my father was a grand old guy. Um, but he taught us that a has nothing to do with someone's color, but more so to do with how they live. Okay? And if we're going to take the correct definition of that word, I know a bunch of white niggers. Okay? I'll tell you what, I have been screwed over and cheated by more white people than I have black people. Okay? So, uh, let, let's, let's just be realistic here. Okay? Now, let's go back to what this is really about. If a government can cause its people by the masses to divide up amongst each other and bicker about this, bicker about that, men against women, women against men, Blacks against whites, whites against blacks, you know, throw every race in there, you know, your race here, okay? If we're too busy bickering about this and that instead of really working on the problems that are at hand, um, for one, we'll never deal with them problems that are at hand. All those people that do the, the true crimes, I'll tell you what, you know, you watch it on cops, you got some black guy breaking into a, or robbing a, a gas station or something like that. Let me tell you something. The true crime is in Wall Street and all these big other companies. That's where the true crime is. You know, it's one thing to steal two, three hundred, you know, dollars from, from a gas station. And it's another thing to steal millions or billions of dollars from everybody, okay? But the sad thing is the true criminals don't, don't get caught or it's rarely that they do. But, again, back to the point. If we can be divided up so that we can't get along and we can't do something that's a very important called unite, um, then they don't have anything to worry about. Okay? They can keep on going with their same bogus policies, telling us lies at election time, and getting away with doing whatever they want. But, if you want to be smart enough, to outsmart our government and not be racist and not be discriminatory, then maybe enough of us can unite to do what's right, to, to demand from our government what is the right thing to do. Okay? I always tell people this is my advice to everybody. Don't think about who is right or wrong. That doesn't matter. Just worry about what is right and what is wrong. It doesn't matter whose idea it was. It just matters that you do the right thing. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing the right thing. It doesn't matter who is right, who's wrong. I'm doing the right thing. God, God tells me, God tells you, God tells everybody, you know, that the man is created equal. You know, so that doesn't mean that white man is created a little better than black man. That means everybody is equal. 
Okay? So, our government is smart enough to know that a majority of people are stupid enough to know that by breaking us up into small little groups and having our little bickering fits that we won't unite and we won't do what's right and we won't force them to do what's right. So actually, those that are racist are actually pretty ignorant. All you got to do is think about what I said. They're pretty ignorant. Because those of us that aren't racist, you know, are willing to unite and do things that need to be done. Um, you know, I mean, just, just step back. Look at the big picture. See how you're being, you know, and I'm speaking to the racist or the discriminatory, discriminatory people. Step back. Take a look at how foolish you're being, how stupid you're being, and how the government's playing you like a little bitty puppet. I mean, it, it, it's hilarious because most times those that think they're so smart are really that stupid. And if you're racist and if you're discriminatory, sorry, but you're stupid. We all need to get over this stupidity. I mean, it's, it's absolutely ignorant to be racist, to judge somebody by their color or anything else. It's stupid. Wake up, grow up, and unite and demand what's right. I mean, to tell you the truth, what's right is if we given this United States back to the damn Indians, right? I mean, it was their land. We stole it from them. You know, it's, it's sad if you want to stop and you want to look at the big picture. And, you know, uh, keep on calling me names, keep on, but, you know, Redneck ain't going to be able to uh, uphold a website like I have for, for three years and counting. Uh, they, uh, Redneck's not going to be at, at the uh, edge of the gaming industry. Uh, Redneck's not going to be preparing to start his own gaming industry. Okay? So... The re whole redneck thing just don't even come close to fitting me. Um, and again, you want to call me a lover? Fine. No, I'm not. Because my definition of a is the true definition of a And it has nothing to do with color. And I don't like Okay? And, and, and that's not to say whether they're white, whether they're black, Hispanic. It doesn't matter. It's a lifestyle, man. So, you know, am I a people lover? Yeah, I'm a people lover. And whether they're black, whether they're yellow, whether they're brown, it doesn't matter. They're people. Peace out. Remember to visit SimGameIt.com. Uh, hopefully the new website will be up soon. I know I keep saying it, but uh, it'll be there real soon. Thanks, guys. Hopefully, uh, hopefully some of the less intelligent uh, uh, of the viewers will uh, get a clue out of this. All right. Peace.